Yo, welcome back guys to the second video of this series and without further ado, let's start with it. So here's the code where I left the last time and now we're gonna start immediately with this new video. So uh, in this video, we are going to show uh, how you could run the web driver uh, in your code, how to set up the emulation and to go to a simple site uh, using the web driver and Selenium. Okay, so let's start with it. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is to import WebDriver. And to import WebDriver, we can import it from Selenium. So uh, from uh, Selenium, import WebDriver. Okay, now with this WebDriver, we're gonna run the browser. So to run the browser, uh, we have to download some Chrome driver executable files, but or a Firefox or a Gecko driver. But for now, I'm going to show you an easier way where using a library, we're going to install it automatically and it's going to pick the right driver for our computer. And this library is called Web Driver Manager. And to install it, we're going to install it through the pip. So just go to terminal and type pip install. Uh, web web driver underscore uh, manager enter and it's going to install it and after installing uh, we can import it here and from uh, web driver manager now we have to pick uh, Chrome or Firefox I like to use Chrome and it's I think it's better one so I'm gonna use Chrome on this one so uh, type just dot Chrome and from this, we're going, to, we're going to import Chrome Driver Manager. So this one. And I'm going to import it as a shortcut, so as CM. Okay, so now we can create the bot. And uh, to create the main bot function, we have to create a variable. So just create a bot variable and bot is going to equal to web driver dot Chrome because we're going to use Chrome. And inside uh, this function or this class, we're gonna put the executable path. And executable path is going to be the web driver manager that imported here. So uh, in, in the executable path, just type cm and dot okay cm dot install. close these brackets and here we have the executable path and if you if you rerun this file right now it is going to open just the browser so uh, save this file and just let let's uh, uh, test it so just type python in the terminal python uh, run.py so as soon as we click enter it's going to download the latest driver that we need for the Chrome and then it is going to open the browser as you can see here it opens just a browser an empty browser okay so this was a simple script and now we can close it and to to stop the script we have to uh, press control plus C okay it's going to show us some uh, logs files but I'm going to stop this uh, right now with a simple line of code Okay, now we are going to create some options for the bot. And to create an option, just type opt, uh, create a variable called option equal to web driver dot Chrome options. Okay, now using this variable, we can add some options. And uh, the first one is going to be the emulator. Uh, because we need this uh, browser to be emulated as a phone uh, as, as a phone version we don't need the browser version but a phone version and to create this phone version first we get have to get an emulator code and to get it just go to Google and search for a mobile emulator Chrome driver click on the first link scroll down and you're gonna see some examples here you, we just have to copy this one Wait, not this one, uh, this one here. Because we need an emulator, mobile emulator. Just copy all of this, copy it, and paste it here. Okay. 
okay so we can remove these spaces okay now we have the emulator and now we have to add this to options and if you go back uh, we can see that we have Chrome uh, the way we can add it is this one so Chrome options is the our variable we just have to copy this add experimental option just copy it and go to here in the code and type options dot uh, add the experimental option so I'm gonna remove this one and yeah so now we have the mobile emulation to the options so another option I'm gonna add is like I said you before to turn off these log messages here and to do that we're gonna add uh, option options dot dot add argument and inside we need some uh, is a string so just dash dash log log level log level equal to three so now it is going to stop the log messages and now to add these options in the bot we have to here in this uh, inside the Chrome we have to uh, type option options equal to options we can save this file and now we can uh, we can try to see if the browser opens in an emulator version okay I'm going to close this terminal and run a new one okay uh, I'm going to uh, activate environment again because it is deactivated right now so just uh, nv scripts activate and now we can run the file to test it so python run dot py okay so as you can see we have an emulated version now and I'm going to make this window smaller because it's a bit large so I'm gonna make it a bit smaller and but uh, it's important that we have the emulator and as you can see now it's not showing uh, logs messages anymore so to make this smaller we're gonna use bot dot set windows size okay window size and this needs to be uh, 500 and uh, 950 500 950 okay this is the perfect one and now we have the uh, browser all good so now we're gonna try to go to a website a simple website just instagram.com and to go there all we're gonna do is just type bot.get to get the link and here we're gonna type the uh, instagram.com for example so HTTPS slash instagram.com now save it and go back to terminal and run it okay now it's going to instagram.com uh, you can see uh, this web browser is not longer supported and uh, this is happening because we're using an old emulator but to fix this we're gonna change the version here so on the Chrome the latest version is 9, uh, 90 so just type 90 here and uh, I'm going to also delete this device metrics because it is going to make it smaller but I don't, I don't want that so just save the file and now we can run again python run.py and okay so now we have uh, everything okay it's not showing anymore the error so uh, this is the web driver where we are just going to instagram.com and this all I'm going to show you on this video so we just set up the browser and uh, the next video we're going to continue to, to create the login process where the bot is going to log in so this is all the video for now uh, I see you in the next video just click on the third video of this series goodbye